morning. We got another sunrise mission out here. Put the drones up. Where are we? We are in along the Rio Reservoir. Okay, there we go. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're at the Rio Reservoir uh, boat launch in uh, north of Port Jervis, New York. That's the best way I can put it. Uh, this is just spectacular country. I mean, probably a week and a half, two weeks ago, this color was exploding over here. But there's no wind here today. Uh, it's sunrise. We're going to catch this section of the reservoir. Then we're going to go down to the dam. Should be awesome. All right. There you go, folks. Eddie, what are you doing now? So right now, Stevie, um, I'm gonna be flying the DJI FPV with a GoPro. I'm going all in. Um, and this is gonna be Drop the adapters. first maiden flight with the prop adapters, yeah. So these are the Ethics P4s. These are the props that you um, typically install on the traditional FPV drone. And all I did was take off the, the covers that, that DJI installs, add the prop adapters, which will give you you know the mount um, and I hear good things I hear it's supposed to remove prop wash and give you more resolution on the sticks decrease battery performance of course but you get more thrust and more resolution and then what I'm looking for is less prop wash because the prop wash makes me really nervous when I'm flying FPV all right stand back guys <laughs> get, a, get a prop in your fucking head oh, yeah yeah I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go to the water now. First impression? It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know what took me so long. It is risky when you think about adding, you know, anything aftermarket to your um, DJI drone, right, overall. But, I mean, what I was looking for is more prop wash. I mean, more prop wash. Less prop wash. Um, you know, improved resolution on the sticks. And what I mean by resolution is just, like, response time right like thrust um you know I, I never felt comfortable doing a split s with this drone or roll and now i mean like i wish you could see this there's zero zero vibration in my goggles and 
you have to remember that I have a Hero 8 right now on top of it. If you've flown with a Hero 8 on top of your DJI FPV, you know this drone is struggling. There's nothing but vibrations in your goggles. And uh, this thing is like a 5 inch. Wow. And my battery, I'm at 75%. So far, I'm not seeing much loss in, um, in uh, battery capacity. I'm all the way up on top of these trees. This is handling better than my seven inch right now. To the next spot. So the motors yeah. are not hot? Motors are not hot. Motors so are not hot. No. Look at this. And this is with stabilization off. Yeah, there's no vibrations in your goggles. And you get better response from the stick inputs. Yeah. It's very, very smooth. What is that? Without hyper smooth? Yeah, look. Look, that's when we came here. Look, look. Look at that. You had a lock tight? Yeah. Blue, right? Blue. Blue, yeah, yeah. Not right. Make that mistake. <laughs> All right, so what's your conclusion with the uh, modified props? My conclusion is this is a must buy if you have a DJI FPV. Um, there was mixed reviews, I want to be honest, right? With the GoPro, it feels so much more stable. I'm not seeing vibrations. However, on the last flight when I took off the GoPro, I'm still seeing micro jitters, but not as bad as when you don't have um, these props. And wind kind of picked up slightly, right? So there was a slight wind gust, and that's when it really tests um, the DJI FPV, FPV with the standard props. So overall, um, I recommend these. I, I feel like whether you fly with a GoPro or not, you're gonna see an improved experience with this drone. You're gonna see less oscillation. You're going to feel more in control. And I think the overall pitch as well, the sound that you're hearing was um, less agile or less aggressive. And um, I, I was impressed with the performance and battery life wasn't impacted at all. I got six minutes with the GoPro on. And then when I took off the GoPro, I flew five minutes and I landed at 60% battery. So this is, um, I think, a no-brainer and very easy to install as well. Very, very easy.